Hey mommies, how are you? I hope that you're all having an awesome, awesome day. And um, I'm here with Isaac. We're just hanging out, and I was just thinking how amazing and how fortunate I am to be able to be hanging out with him, out hanging out with him this afternoon. Um, it's so cool. This last few weeks, he's progressed so much. I see how um, attentive he is, how he turns when when I say his name, how he waves, claps, and so many cool new stuff that is um, a stage that I'm really, really enjoying. And um, I was just thinking about that actually, and a few um, uh, weeks ago, I was actually discussing with um, a really good friend of mine um, in regards to like um, how things, ch how much things change after you have your baby. Like once you have your baby and you're going through the, the, those first like four, six weeks, like the postpartum period, the period that you're establishing your milk supply, that you've just started to breastfeed, um, so many things go on and it's such a, a time uh, when your feelings and your emotions are kind of like this rocketing all over the place, you're not really sure what you're doing and even um, what, uh, what I was kind of bringing across was even when you do it the second time around um, you're still going through a lot of emotions and I would think that maybe if you go around through it the seventh time or the eighth time you still go through a lot of emotions because it's a very emotional part um, after you have a baby, it's, we, I've spoken about it before, it's what we call the fourth tri trimester, it has its own name. Um, so it's something that we go through and in fact what I was like super um, amazed by, I was reading about this lately and a statistic that said that four out of five women suffer like, you know, um, a little bit of postpartum depression um, the first four, um, six weeks, which is like a mild thing, doesn't have to be treated, treated with medicine or anything like that, but it's nonetheless, it shouldn't be discredited, it's a hard time that a woman goes through and a lot of emotions that they're going through and a lot of times, um, and what I really wanted to speak about today was just to be real about it, just to um, kind of um, talk about it and not push it under the rug like, like it's something that we're not supposed to talk about. Um, I think that the more upfront we are with other friends um, and, and other people around us that um, it's normal to feel, to have these feelings and it's normal to feel a little bit down and a little crazy and a little insane. And like uh, you're going through all these emotions. Yes, your baby has just arrived and it's a beautiful time uh, because you're embracing this new baby that you've been eagerly waiting to meet for the last nine months. And now you're having this baby, and now you've had this baby and uh, you have him at home and he's just adorable or she's just adorable. And um, the truth is that there's so many other things that go along with it. Like, oh my God, I just want to slay you for like 10 minutes. And oh my god, I just want you to stop crying and um, so many things and oh my god, my boobs hurt so much, you know, so many things that um, I'm not saying that we should sit around and complain about them all day long and keep on saying how hard it is, but accept it. If we um, talk about it and we accept it, then we acknowledge it and then we can move forward and we can do stuff to move forward. And I think the other thing too is... Um, which is kind of annoying now that I think of it, is like we see so many posts about, oh, okay, when, when the baby arrives, don't go visit um, your friend, um, stay away for as long as possible until, until she calls you and tells you that you can come over, or when you do come over for the first visit, you know, don't wear perfume, and don't do, uh, and don't just hold the baby, and then do, just don't do this, and don't do the other. I don't think really it's about that, about what you do, don't have to do and all this do's and don'ts. Uh, because what that kind of says that it's all about the baby and it shouldn't just be all about the baby It should be all about the mom. She's done this amazing thing. She's created this beautiful baby in her tummy, you know, over the last nine months that took a lot of work and then now she's birthed it like, oh my God, wow. And now she's making super human milk to feed her baby and she's trying to recover from all of this stuff. So I think a lot of attention needs to be paid to mom, to a little bit of pampering to mom, not just like, um, you know, everyone comes to visit and they're like all like this on the baby. No, I think as, as women helping women, which we are in our community, I think it's really important that if you have a mom that just had a baby and you wanna, you know, come and see her and celebrate, you know, the birth of the baby, 
I think um, instead of bringing my teddy bears and baby clothes and a bunch of baby stuff, you know, bring her a nice cooked meal, something that you've cooked like a lasagna. Um, or even better, something that is like very um, good for her system right now, something that is nutritious, maybe like a really nutritious meal or a really nutritious salad or something with lots of veggies and stuff like that and that is low in fat or high in protein. So um, stuff like that would be a way better idea. And then the second thing is, you know, give her a call, see how she's really feeling, say, okay, but what are you really feeling? Are you okay? Um, you know, just unload with me. Um, let's cry together. Let's pray together. Let's, um, you know, whatever you have to do, but let's help each other out. Let's do it together. I've been where you've been. And I know, you know, the, 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 the journey you're going through, trying to recover and trying to, um, you know, get back up on your feet again. So it does take time. And I think being real about it is, is really important. So... I just wanted to kind of bring that across and something for you to think about and something to, to kind of pledge and vow that um, next time that you have a mom that has just had a baby, that you're going to, um, instead of, you know, asking so much about the baby, send me pictures, about the ba uh, send me pictures of the baby, I'm going to send the baby some whatever X, Y, Z. No, do something for the mom or maybe say, hey, you know what, um, I'm going to bring some really nice essential oils over. Um, a few of us go together, you know, um, so-and-so is going to take care of the baby while I give you a foot massage or a back massage or I'll do your nails or I'll do your hair so you look really pretty. Uh, you know, just something nice for mom. Uh, not invading her space, of course. You want to make sure that it's okay with her. Some people, like, I'm a little bit like that, actually. Like, the first week, I don't want anybody to, like, come near me. Uh, it's me and my baby. Don't touch us. Like, I'm kind of like, it's so cool how your, like, animal instinct kicks in. And that's kind of what, if you uh, have ever ha seen, um, like, a, a dog with her puppies, like, you can't come near her. She's like in her space with her puppies. No one touch her puppies, no one look at her. Um, I'm a little bit like that. So um, after a few weeks, you know, maybe week two, week three, then I'm cool with, you know, having people come over and stuff like that. But the first few weeks, uh, I just room in with my baby. And the important thing is that my man is with me, my husband's paying attention to me, that I feel that, uh, I feel that security from him. Um, so it's a different story for all of us. But the important thing is to um, acknowledge these feelings that we have during postpartum and be there for each other and talk about them. Like if your friend asks you, oh, what's it like after you have the baby? Or maybe prepare someone, you know, hey, look, you're going to have a baby. I just want to let you know that after you have your baby, you get, you know, it's very normal for you to feel a little crazy, a little bit sleep deprived and all these emotions you go through. So just kind of talk about it and acknowledge it. I think is the, and acknowledging it, is, I think it's a really important thing. So if you have a breastfeeding, um, like you're, you know, the first time, Isaac is holding my tripod. <laughs> He's over here like, say hi. I'm going to go over here so you can look at the camera. Um, so if you are, have a friend that's having a baby soon, you know, talk about it. Make sure that she's kind of prepared for what's going to happen and that she doesn't feel alone and insecure. And she doesn't feel like, sometimes I felt like this. After I started to, um, uh, as soon as I had my baby and I started to breastfeed, I was like, why didn't anybody tell me that this was so hard? Why were they like, oh, breastfeeding is beautiful, that's an amazing experience. I was like, why didn't anybody tell me that the first few weeks of breastfeeding were so incredibly hard that I was going to go through this? I could have done something, I could have prepared, I could have, you know, it was, um, I was kind of like really shocked at it. And I think with postpartum, it's the same thing and it all, all happens during the same time. So I just wanted to um, give you um, a little bit of information in regards to that. And I hope that you can take a vow to, um, to make sure that you're real about postpartum and that um, we, we get this across because the thing with postpartum is that if you don't acknowledge it and you don't start doing something about it and you're not aware of it, then it can progress into something more severe, like a, uh, you know, a severe depression. Not just a little bit of baby blues, but a severe depression, which can hinder and affect you know, a lot of different things with the development of your baby, with you yourself, and especially also with breastfeeding. Bye, mommies. Have a great day.